Today, guys, I'm gonna be hitting this old gimmick driver that I got for $2 at Goodwill. All right, guys, today I'm gonna be playing with this guy. You remember the commercials for these? They're on the Golf Channel all the time. The Mac Burrows got that huge hole in it. Wait one second. Huge hole in it that you could fit a golf ball in. I think uh, Nike stole their design from this. Don't quote me on that. They didn't, but kind of a similar thing to their Covert where they took out that huge cavity behind it. Really interesting design. I've never actually hit one. I always saw the commercials like, man, that thing looks stupid. So uh, yeah, let's get out there and hit them. I'm gonna play a few holes with it. See uh, what we can do. It's got like an Aldi Law one shaft. It's got this weird like step right there, like a steel shaft, but it's graphite. No idea, let's hit it. All right, got a 460 yard par four here. No idea why I'm playing from the tips with this thing, but we're gonna leave the tag on just for special effect. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Up at the golf ball, I hit that terribly, but we're in the middle of the fairway. Got about 230 yards left, so I hit it like 230 off the tee. Let's just hit it off the deck now. Oh my god, that thing landed like five feet away from the pin. All right, 230 yards off the deck. This is where we are, just over the green. Pretty good shot. This whole thing is pretty good. I'm gonna play it in from here just for effect and then go play another hole with it, see if it's any good still. Low key tap in from six feet. Hole number two here, I'm gonna play from the forward tees. It's 265 yards. Let's see if we can't put one on the green. Just missed the green, but I'm perfectly in line with the flag, so pin high. I don't think this thing is meant for uh, the sand, but uh, why the hell not? There's a weight on the next tee, so let's play it. We can confirm that this is not meant for out of the sand. We're usually not this awkward. This is our first time asking somebody to hit <laughs> ah, a club. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we met Alex right here. We're waiting on a five sum. Uh, it was nice enough to say that he wanted to hit it, so we're gonna let him hit it, compare it to his driver. All right, it looks really good in the air, but it looks like it went 40 yards shorter than uh, his normal driver. But uh, overall? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's got a decent shaft, but the club head definitely feels a little bit harder than the newer clubs do. All right, big thank you to Alex. I just like randomly creeped up on him. I apologize for how awkward that was if you end up watching this video. And if you guys like ever see me, don't like hesitate. You can come up and talk to me. I'll just be super awkward, like Alex uh, can confirm. So uh, yeah, let's go to the next hole. Uh, 333 yard par four here. Let's do one more. I'm hitting this thing really good. I really want to compare it to my driver. So we're going to hit him here and then we're going to move to a par five and uh, compare it to my driver. Up at the golf ball guys. Uh, yeah, we're at the hundred yard marker. This thing only went 230 yards. So uh, that's pretty much as far as I hit like a hybrid, but Let's go uh, hit a few against my driver and see how good this thing actually is. I've hit it really straight, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure how far it goes. I might just be hitting the ball really short today. So let's go hit a couple with my driver and a couple with this one. All right, guys, we're going to hit it against my driver now. Ping G30 versus a Mac Burrows, both 10.5 degrees. We're going to hit two with each. We're going to hit Titleist Pro V1 number threes with the Mac and then uh, random number Pro Vs with mine. Let's see which one goes further, see which one's more accurate.
Caught that a little bit thin with the Mac, but uh, still got out there pretty good. Let's go with the G30 now. Yeah, I think this one's gonna go further. I'm gonna hit one more with the Mac because I know that that ping is the longest one out there and I still haven't caught one with the Mac. So uh, yeah, let's give it one more try. I know this isn't fair, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing lost. Up at the golf balls, guys, not as big of a difference as I thought there was going to be, but uh, ping right here is about uh, 15, maybe 20 yards longer. I thought it was like 40 off of the tee, but not as big as a difference as I thought. Uh, there's two of the burrows over there, and then one way back there, like 40 yards. That was, a, yeah, I thought I hit that good and just like spun straight up in the air. But uh, overall, guys, the uh, burrows driver, am I a buyer? Definitely for $2. I had some fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Not a serious review, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to see more content, usually we do like more serious like testing. Well, as serious as I can be. Uh, serious testing like golf balls or gear like that. But thought we'd get out and have a little bit of fun with this uh, old gimmick driver. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, if you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time. I totally forgot to take the sticker off.